200 people were taken hostage by Hamas when they launched their attack two weeks ago. One of those people is Eviatar David, and his brother is Eli David. His brother joins us live now from Tel Aviv. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us at what must obviously be a very uh, painful and difficult time. Now, tell us a little bit about how you know uh, where your brother is, because you have seen a video of him, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Thank you for the opportunity to tell my story. Uh, at 7th of October, um, my brother went to the Nova Festival um, to celebrate, to dance, to um, have fun with his friends, with some of his best friends. And about at 8 a.m. with him last completely uh, act of terrorists. Uh, uh, ourselves, we, we ran to the bomb shell to um, um, to hide from the missiles. And uh, after the connection lost, we posted a photo of my brother on Instagram uh, with my sister's number. And a couple of hours later, we got a screenshot from a video we chose my brother's face, uh, so we asked for the full video, and we saw at that video um, that my brother and one of his best friends, actually a childhood friend of him, um, we saw them and three other young men lying on the floor on a dark room, and a cameraman is filming them with a flashlight for us to see each of every one of their frightened faces. Actually, it was a propaganda video of Hamas. And um, uh, then we saw another video of my brother uh, being held in a headlock. Um, my brother, in that video, uh, we saw him with his shirt torn. Uh, his hands are handcuffed behind his back. And he's been, uh, he's walking. Um, and he's been uh, led by that, um, it must be an incredibly, you know, painful image uh, for you to see. Well, the whole situation, uh, really. So, what is it that your family is asking for right now? Because I'm reading you have a request that is for people to remember uh, his face. Yeah. Me and my family, all we ask right now is to bring my brother home. Uh, we love him so much. He's such a gentle, a gentle and calm man, uh, just starting his life. And he's a musician. He did no harm to anybody. And all we want him is to come back home. And we want everyone to hear his name, Aviatar David. We want everyone to remember his face. And till, till he comes home, no one should forget his face. No one should should forget his name. Um, Ila, it's obviously a terrible and worrying situation all round, but how worried are you by a possible a ground invasion that the IDF has said will happen at some point? Um, we hope and we believe that all the captive, more than 200 of them, will be back home before, uh, before the invasion. We actually don't, don't know, and it's... Uh, it shouldn't really um, interest us right now. All we want is my brother to come home, and that's the only focus that I need right now and my family needs right now. Eli David joining us uh, there from Tel Aviv, speaking about his brother, Aviatar uh, David, who was kidnapped and is now a hostage uh, held by Hamas in Gaza. Eli David, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.